Sister Sister Stella, the headmistress, sisters, teachers, dear parents, and my dear students. First of all, I would like to wish every one of you a very happy Independence Day. So it is a joyful occasion for every one of us to celebrate this national event the Independence Day of our nation, that is 77th Independence Day. As a citizen of India, it is a privilege for us to celebrate and enjoy this national event, especially as the freedom aspect. And from the right, from the history of our nation, we have studied and we all of us know 200 years of British rule in India because of the struggle and the sacrifice of our freedom fighters we have gained this freedom and we have got our own constitution for our nation which provides the duties and rights for its citizens which is safeguard every one of us that is the reason all of us are here the students of Don Bosco, the parents, teachers, and all over nation we see, we can feel the vibration of this celebration. And last few days we have noticed around, we could see and experience the nation was preparing for this day. We could see that the tricolor and even the London Tower buildings are decorated with the lights and we could also see what we call the promotion of peace and harmony and by what we call celebrating this national event and for us as a family of Don Bosco we have come together to celebrate at the same time to join with our nation to understand the importance of this event. Of course, today we commemorate and remember the freedom fighters, those who have sacrificed their life for our nation, and we give due respect for them. And we are sure about that they will be remembered for the coming years too. And today also we remember and pray for our nation, right from the top to bottom, the Prime Minister to even our ward member and each one of us as a citizen we give due respect and we know we are celebrating almost 76 years of freedom the world British led to India and in 76 years we have enjoyed the freedom and we have got our own constitutions. We have got our, our own privileges as a citizen of India. But it will be, when we look at, at the reality, we may say that we are celebrating 77th day of our independence. But when we say, and just we reflect over, it will be a challenge for us. Because we speak about freedom, sometimes we understand it is as an absence of restrictions and we can, we have the feeling that we can do as we like, no one will be able to control us. So that is kind of a, a negative aspect of the freedom. But if you look at the constitution, it demands certain duties as and the rights from the citizen that means it is not the, the absence of mere rules and regulations, but we have got, we are given a freedom within the framework of this limited space, safeguarding the rights and duties of one soul at the same time, respecting the other. There is a saying, where my nose begins, the other one's freedom ends. So therefore, while understanding the rights and duties of oneself, at the same time we must also know that the same rights and duties even other citizens of India has it. 
the students, those who are sitting here, you can just look around your own companions. Sometimes you may demand certain freedom for yourself. You will understand that the same freedom, the friends, those who are sitting near to you, they also have the same thing. So therefore, while I exercise, while I execute, execute this freedom in our life, in my life, at the same time, I must have the attitude of respecting the another. Without disturbing their rights and duties, I must, uh, uh, what do we call, practice rights and duties in our life. So therefore, when you have this understanding, surely we can live a peaceful life. That is what the nation demands. That is what our constitution demands from every one of us. And if you think about sometimes some violations, what is happening within our country, when we hear about it is a real challenge for, for the nation, for the administration, for every one of us. Because certain people's rights and violations are exploited, denied, in terms of different reasons. But then our freedom is challenged by these situations. And when we, these days we much, so much hear about the what we call the violation towards children, violations towards women, certain harassment, and even what we call even the other violations. People are not able to really enjoy the freedom that constitution the nation gives us. It is denied of. So therefore, it is a challenge for every one of us. And as the growing citizen of India, the students of Don Bosco must realize that, yes, as we grow, we must be able to give value for every one of us, especially the life of others. And we must be able to learn how to live as a brothers and sisters. And that begins from with the relationship we build up. So therefore, for you it is an opportunity, come to, opportunity to come together, to live as a Bosconian family. You share, share your lives together, your joys and sorrows, your own thoughts, and when it comes together, it gives you a wonderful experience of uh, peace and harmony. You are gradually learning for yourself how to be good in the future, maybe as a citizen of India. So therefore, all of us are in a, what do we call, process of learning. At the same time, just we are moving towards. And next year we may say we are going to celebrate 78 or later 79. And all of you may guess, get a chance to celebrate even 100. So therefore, as we the day goes, year goes by, and the challenges also increase for every one of us. So take it as and understand the real meaning of freedom as we celebrate this national event. So therefore, to understand the great freedom, let us also understand it in a positive way and understanding the limitations we have, the laws we have, approach it in a positive way, make it as a part of our life, at the same time, respecting one another, loving one another, and live like a brothers and sisters. So therefore, I would like to wish once again very happy Independence Day. At the same time, I would like to thank every one of you, dear teachers, students, and sisters, those who have actively contributed to yourself for, to make this day so memorable one. These, those students who have performed the items. It is really wonderful and enriching one. I'm quite sure that the students those who are going to participate also in the coming programs, that also will be uh, uh, fantastic. So therefore, thank you to everyone, starting from Sister Headmistress and the teachers and all the students. Come together, contribute to yourself at the same time, make it this day more but if we call us our own, we feel that by participating in this event, we are the citizen of India. Jai Hind.